I told my story, bro. I don't know why people keep making fun of me, dog. Like I tell my story. Yeah, because you a man, bro. Yeah, I, I and because you a man and not a woman, you don't have a right to to express those parts of yourself that develop who you are today. So yeah, no. people don't give you the same credibility because you're a man, and because you're a man, even by law, men are more convicted based on the fact that they have the ability what they say to display more logic and rationale in intense situations than women. So by, by default, if you come in doing whatever, Hello? they, what the hell? They follow, but yeah, by default, if you come in doing anything that's expressing like what developed you through trauma, through life experience, through emotional distraught, whatever, like women can come in and be like, yeah, you know, I sold pussy. You know, I walked the strip. You know, I got my ass beat by niggas. I got kidnapped and this and that. But when a man be like, yeah, you know, I sold a little dick here and there. You know what I'm saying? I got beat up one time. I got robbed. You know, I did 13 years in jail. You know what I'm saying? I got raped or molested. They be like, oh, this is weird. They laugh. They laugh. Like, but the you know what? With me, is I'm in my at. own world, though. I've accepted everything about myself. And I've overcame those things. And I transcended and became myself. So when I look at my past, I'm like, I have, I'm okay with it. I, I, I'm because I've healed from it. You know, if I didn't heal from it, it'd be a problem for me. And I would, I'd be like, oh, I can't talk about this. No, I expose myself because I know that my life don't belong to me. It belongs to humanity. Here, here's my life. Here's my life experiences. I was a little boy. I was raised in this, this environment. This is what happened to me. This is what I overcame. You could do whatever you want with that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm transparent because I want to be real with myself. I don't want to look into this mirror called life and lie to me. I want my heart exactly. to be light as a feather. I know what I've done as a child. Like, as a child, I ain't going to lie. I let a dog lick my penis. I did. I'm not. And people hear that and be like, wow, word. Whoa. <laughs> but I, it, felt but good. See, it felt good and I was that's why it was funny to me when you said it felt good. I I, dog I'm not going to sit here and, and lie I'm not, as an adult and say oh yeah I just let dogs lick my penis no but as a kid as a, as a kid I did that and it felt good and I don't re I, and I, I don't regret it either like because at the time it made me feel good so um, somebody said you trifling but how I, is he trifling but they're, they're, a lot they're, of they're listen, at the end of the day all I'm doing do is admitting to what I've done Growing up, and people still want to hold you for that in the past, and it just is what it is. I was always a freaky nigga. I was, since I was young, I just ain't had no guidance. Mm -hmm. Understood it. Niggas but, was fucking baby dolls and some mo shit when they was kids. They need to shut the fuck uh, I just up. I just everything. A whole child, lot of I'm weird ass niggas, man. When niggas I learned, over here. you know what it is? When you're a kid, you have no rights. You have no privileges. The first thing you get control over feels good to you, and you can make yourself feel good is sex. So sex is like, damn, this shit feels good, and it's in the hands of a child. So here you have your sexual desires that make you feel good. You're going to do anything and everything to experiment making you feel good because it's a sense of freedom. And when you understand the psychology of it, you don't feel so bad because you're like, right, wow, I'm just trying to make myself feel good. Because I remember when I first got my drop of sperm, I used to jerk off and nothing came out. And then I remember when I first yeah, got a lot first of, a lot of young, a lot of young men, a lot of young men experienced that, including myself. Right. And this is see, this is something that like, like I think people get mad at, at my accuracy in psychology because I don't I don't like being right. I prefer to be accurate. So like whether you agree with me or not, you can't debunk the accuracy that I provide. So when it comes down to like when Nature Boy being rigorously honest and say, you know what? These were the experiences I went through that developed me to understand that this is something I accept or this is something I don't accept. I kept this. I discarded that. Like, this is how I became who I am. They can't accept that. And they say, well, it's basically the way you disrespect women. But, like, I tell people, like, females, the very females that are saying you disrespect women probably with a dope Dylan ass motherfucker right now who be beating their ass every day fucking the motherfucking neighborhood thotties and taking their motherfucking PP loan money. So they ain't really in a position to speak on shit and accuracy because they know that they only complain mm -hmm. because they feel like they can relate.
they feel yeah. like they, they can relate to the situation. Oh, I know what that feel like because my baby daddy ain't shit. He used to beat my ass, girl. I know what you're going through. Mm-hmm. Like, get the fuck out of here. And that's what they all do. They all use that bitterness. Hey, and with that being said, can we, can, can we, can I let you listen to something that I know a lot of women like? Watch this. I'm talking about Musa, you beast. It has no matter a where you it. went, you heard this song everywhere. Stop lying. That's y'all problem. Y'all ain't honest with y'all motherfucking self. You know damn well you heard this song. You know the fucking words. Stop lying. Stop lying. Y'all be in the mirror doing y'all little hair, putting y'all little wigs on, shaking y'all ass, talking about throw babies when this shit come on. And he's saying the first word he said. She a little bitch. She a little hoe. Yeah, love the way she walk. Love the way she talk. Let a young nigga come playing that throat. Let a young go, nigga go come Google. playing that throat. Come and on, this man. song right here, everybody fuck with that song. It had most of the songs on even on the radio is degrading woman. Even the females are calling each other Ab- bitches. Abdul Raf. Rafi, oh man, come on, man, get your dick right now, out of here, boy. Hey, yo, look, let's look at That's the a, female bro. songs and how they address each other. What do the female artists address each other as? City girls. Let's listen to City mm-hmm. Girls. Hmm, mm-hmm. who's who's a very popular group. Disrespecting and degrading yourself as a woman. We have fake this ass mentality. Hoes. She said, I ain't got time for you fake ass hoes. So she just called women hoes. Are you protesting city girls? Are you protesting Megan the Stallion? Are you protesting motherfucking um Cardi B? Cardi B? Nope. Are you on there protesting them? They ain't protesting Rennie Rucci, Cash Dow, none of them. And let's talk about them without the beat. That is going to be degrading. Right. See, y'all, y'all stuck on the fact that the rhythm is what captures black people. Rhythm. That's why the music's lyrics are toxic. Because I'm a savage. But but they love it in the comments. I'm a they, savage. Uh huh. They love it though. Fuck being a bitch, cause if I was a bitch in the beginning of the song. Listen, call you a bitch. Just put a beat on the back of it. If you're that bitch, and I call you a bitch, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Talking about classy bougie. I'm going call I'd rather be a B I T C H, cause that's what you're gonna call me when we. Anyway, come on. So, and we look at the definition of a bitch. They look. They like just play the song, nigga. Play the song. All right, that's Not what shit, they want. Nigga. Yeah, they ain't trying to hear nothing else. They want to hear that music. They want to hear that song. But let me give you the definition of a bitch. A bitch is a, a malicious, spiteful, overbearing woman. Something that is extremely difficult, objectionable, or unpleasant. So when a woman is being unpleasant, objectionable, or being malicious, spiteful, or overbearing, she's being a bitch. Now, we see these bitches come up on the panel all the time. And if we call them what they are, we're being disrespectful. But then again, in their music... I think it's offensive to be called a bitch. It should be offensive all the way across the board. The fuck? How the fuck do I sound dumb? That's like if I don't let motherfuckers walk up on me, that's motherfucking whoever, and say no anything to me. I ain't let no man or woman call me no bitch, period. Fuck is wrong with you? So at, that, at the end of the day, it's going to be... Whatever it is, when people look at the reality of what's taking place, I tell them all the time, he reading you the definition in its applicable form, in its applicable descriptive form. So we know 
that the applicable descriptive form is the way that we use the term modernly. And in a modern colloquial sense, the word bitch is that which is a disruptive, uncooperative, problematic, disrespectful woman, man. Stop it. And if you calling yourself a bitch or a hoe, and then another man who says, well, you not deeming the behavior of Yo, where my um, admins at? Where my admins at? Let's go, security. We all call You is the person arts. who got to be responsible for the fact, yo, maybe I'm not acting like a woman. Just like when a man get called out on his shit by other men and women, we think in consideration. Maybe if everybody telling me I need to get my shit together, I need to get my shit together. Block like, get the fuck out of here. Right? Y'all ass want somebody to lie to y'all all day. Ain't nobody finna keep lying to y'all, bro. That's y'all problem. I'm not gonna hate nobody or dislike nobody that's telling the truth to the degree that he tell it, bro. Like, at the end of the day, y'all say the comparison to him and Kevin saying Kevin Samuels ain't got money or whatever. I know for a fact Kevin Samuels easily cleared, like, $4 million in the last two years. So, with that being said, the nigga know what he talking about. And mm -hmm. Nature Boy know what he talking about, clearly. Because he live a better life than the majority of the motherfuckers who watch his life every fucking day, want to live his life every fucking day, want to emulate it in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and then had a nerve to come up here and tell him where he's They wish called. they could brainwash three women. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you, you over there, master of brainwash activity. Look at that shit. She over there rubbing this man beard down. You can't even get your motherfucking woman to pick up the goddamn broom. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Right. That's y'all goddamn problem. Y'all worried about the fact that he have women that's loving him and catering to him and all that. A Musa and good. That, and now to do whatever See, Musa, for him. Musa, Musa is extremely good. See, that's what y'all don't know. Musa is excellent. Musa, Musa live his own life. Musa follow his own rules, and I run my own house. That's why Nature Boy, my brother. Musa, Musa got you, wise. You got to. He got you, wise. tweaking, boy. Y'all tweaking, boy. I've been that nigga for a long time, boy. Abdul Raif Bilal, you's a lame. And whoever you think you is, I'm better than you in real life. So it don't matter. See how that works? You this man is a jeweler. You're too worried about the conversation we have. This man is a show me jewels. He's a jeweler. This man is a jeweler. He make jewels. Oh, yeah. I'm an actual, I'm an actual, I'm an actual jeweler. I actually made this. I actually made this God's gift because I'm a fucking Taurus. Rolex, Yacht Master 2. Fuck you talking about. I'm a jeweler. I make jewelry for some pretty heavy people. I don't I don't really get into what, what um other people get into. I, I mind my business, man. You know, I mind my business. I'm putting my baby to sleep. These niggas worried about the wrong shit. I'm in a five bedroom, two master bedroom, two, two, two master wives. bedroom house. Up y'all ain't y'all ain't doing nothing that I do. So Taurus just mind your business and stay in your lane. Yeah, they just mad. Don't worry about all that, y'all. Y'all broke ass. Don't worry about it. Y'all just mad. Y'all can't get one woman. You can't, bro. Your woman to touch you is a chore. That's y'all problem. She look at you like a chore, like, oh, my God, here come this nigga. <laughs> I hope this nigga don't want me to touch him. Shit. Man, I hope this nigga don't say nothing to him. Oh, my God, he said something. Fuck. Man, I got to act like I like this nigga. Oh, my wives shit, get up dude. every morning, every rising. And Y'all niggas to lame me. as hell. They get up before I get up. They be, they be looking forward to do this for me. They love doing it, don't y'all? If they don't do it, they feel weird. Mm -hmm. they, they, they love doing this for me. It feels good to them to, to pamper me every day. I wake up. They dress me every day. Talking about they don't care about aesthetics. How? Mm -hmm. Look at how naturally beautiful his wives are without an ounce of makeup on. Y'all y'all look hat-wearing ass, wig-wearing ass females out there be hating, bro, when them sisters go natural. Y'all always talking about them like something wrong with them because they don't wear weave and shit. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all be really trying to shoot motherfuckers in this motherfuckers in the chat live. to come up here without makeup, looking crazy, they without makeup tweaking. in that weed. These women ain't got yeah. no weave on, no makeup. Y'all really don't realize how beautiful my wives are without weave, without, without makeup. My wife, listen, see this y'all problem. I'm a conqueror. See, my wife, they are pretty. My white wife rubs my feet. She washes my 
back. She scratched my back and right, rubbed my back for hours. She does whatever I say, however I say it, whenever I say it, because she loves me. Because we tours. <laughs> Y'all tweaking. You worried about her being white. Remember. Y'all couldn't get no female. And my, my Sicilian wife, thick than a motherfucker, too. Fuck you, talking about. Add that in there while you talking. And her body real than a motherfucker, too, while you talking. And that bag we get is big than a motherfucker, too. While y'all broke ass living in Section 8 talking shit. Shut the fuck up. Y'all hey, play this song right here, Living bro. here and living there. Y'all lame as hell. <laughs> 